Wait a minute. This is what I should be doing next. This is what you're doing. This is what you are doing next. <coughs> I'm, I'm not feeling very well, I must admit. <laughs> yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. And today we are making a sweet potato jacket with the Ari Poke on top. You don't know what Ari Poke is? Stay tuned. So as you can see, I'm not gonna do this recipe alone because I'm joined by two amazing and beautiful lads. <laughs> guys, I'll take the beautiful part. Clean machines! How How's it going, guys? How you doing? Very good, thank good you. Good to see you. Good to see you. See you. I'm really, really liking the look of this. Oh, are you excited? Right it's it's yes. looking very good. The first thing we need to do is to roast some sweet potatoes. So do you want to put them in the oven? I will do the honours. I might not put the wooden board in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what's he doing? <laughs> they are not exactly practical cook. <laughs> so what's the difference between sweet potatoes and potatoes apart of course from the shape and the colour and... Uh... Um, just how fast they're broken down. So typically a sweet potato you would say is uh, a lower GI, it means it takes longer to break down before it goes into the bloodstream. So white potatoes uh, affect your blood sugar faster. So if you're someone who's not very active through the day, typically you might want to go for something that's a little bit slower acting so you don't get energy levels up on the bike come down. Okay, so, so if I am very active, yeah. I should go for potatoes? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, okay, fine. Let's, let's switch the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> now we need to prepare a marinade with some tuna steak, but instead of having the tuna steak raw, I'm just gonna sear it quickly in order to develop all the flavors. Place a pan over medium heat, a bit of oil in it, neutral oil, and then you just remove the excess of fat with a kitchen paper. People are always afraid to put their hands in the pan, but usually you don't burn yourself. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you lied. <laughs> I love tuna steak. I love the sound it makes. So I think it's about like. 30 seconds each side. If, if you only need one knife, I would pick this one only. Or maybe yeah, a smaller would, one. This I one is a bit much. big. I would go for this one. I use it's more convenient. That side all the time. Get yeah, better thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Make cubes like one centimeter cubes maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. No worries at all. I can do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing the marinade. It goes like a teaspoon of soy sauce, then. A teaspoon of this, which I don't remember exactly what this is. Oh, sesame, sesame, uh, sesame oil. Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got the paint brushes again. Sesame oil to the marinade. This is really, really powerful. So you just want like a tiny drop of this. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Otherwise, the whole dish is gonna be ruined. Oh, we don't do that. A bit of ginger. So now we need to add a bit of a spring onion. We keep the green part away from. The white part, yeah. the, the green part for the garnish yeah. at the end, the white part which is more pungent for the marinade. I'm okay. really excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. This <laughs> is yeah. Double the portions and then we're laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, chilies goes in. It's great to add some coriander stalks. Why would you add stalks opposed to leaves? Uh, because basically the leaves are very gentle. Okay. And so they will bruise if we put them in the marination. Okay. And it's gonna bring some color as well. So before we add the tuna in the marination, we need to season it. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Let's go for the salt. I go for the pepper. Okay, cool. So just a pinch. Yeah, just a pinch. A good pinch. If we put the tuna straight in, it's gonna change color. Okay. Yeah. So first off, what you need to do is just drizzle some oil over the tuna. That's gonna make a protection for the tuna. I just coat it. Right? Exactly. Okay. That's gonna coat it. Give it a gentle mix, really, really gentle, because otherwise you're gonna crush the tuna. This is called ahi poke, and it's inspired from an Hawaiian dish, Hawaiian dish. The tuna is nicely coated with the marination. Let's place this in the fridge to chill for at least uh, one hour. No. Energy balls. Energy balls! Energy balls! <laughs> So guys, the sweet potatoes are roasting. The marinade is chilling. Yep. Cool. What do we do? Do you we, want to go out for a we run? We might as well do some activity to actually are you ready? justify this baked potato. And now I'm the one who's scared now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. 
What can the viewer expect on your channel? It's a different approach. So when a lot of people look for health and fitness tips on YouTube, they kind of presume that when there's two guys on a camera, it's going to be really quite in your face, go hard, or go home. That's definitely not what we're about. Um, <laughs> we're a lot more about balance. So it's about having fun in the gym, doing stuff that you actually enjoy, and having a nice balance of training and your home life as well, away from the gym. So it's a little bit of everything, really. So do you know what push-up is? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So get into a push-up position. I can't. Easy as that. I'm going to do the same, and you're going to go down to the floor. Yeah. And then back up. Right hand. Uh, slap my right hand. <laughs> That's your left hand. <laughs> right hand. Up. Left hand. Up. And you stay like that until one person essentially fails. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fair! It was a bit slippery! Yeah, definitely it was, it was a wet floor surface where you were. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. It's nice to have my normal clothes back on. I didn't come here to work today, Alex, I'm afraid. That was really, really easy for me, guys. <coughs> okay, back to cooking, guys. Back, back to cooking. cooking. Let's bring the, the potatoes up out of the oven. Yep, let's do that. They are nice and soft. You can, you can feel that the flesh inside is like mashed, completely mashed. You can take into the protein diet. Speaking of marination, there it is. It's gonna crush, mash a bit the, the, the sweet potatoes. Just make a nest to accept the marination. So in Hawaii, they have this amazing stuff called Inamona, Inamona, Inamoma, no, Inamona. Anyway, they have this amazing stuff which is made with nuts and seaweed. But wow. I don't have access to those in What, you didn't go to Hawaii to get our seaweed? No, oh, sadly not. Oh, I was you changed. <laughs> the thing is, I do have some Mori seaweed and I also have some macadamia, macadamia nuts. My favorite nuts. Which seem to me the, the closer I could get to those Hawaiian nuts. Yeah, you're very good cutting them. If I did it, they'd be hanging off everywhere. <laughs> they'd look under the cupboard like a year later. <laughs> but there'd be a couple of, couple of nuts under the cupboard. Green onion. Macadamia nuts. And finally, the seaweed. The last part, maybe one of the best part, is yeah. add a squeeze of lime. We can't, we can't squeeze the lime without getting the zest. That would be really rude. That's so good. That is. <laughs> Ginger. A sweet potato is not boiling hot, it's just warm. And just you've got the cold marinade and the tuna. Exactly. It's just... That's one thing I wanted you to take. That's really, really good. Okay, so guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this that recipe. Amazing. You, amazing. Look, you yeah. look to enjoy this recipe. <laughs> yeah. We're eating oh, yours. We're eating yours. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, at home, I hope you enjoyed this recipe too. And if you did, then give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over on your social medias. Also, forget to my channel for more delicious recipes and subscribe to the Lean Machines for lovely health and fitness videos. Absolutely. That's even better with more lime. See you in a bit, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Salut.